A of paper two looks at the urban issues in the urban world. Okay, so the first uh, item on the kind of uh, agenda, if you like, is uh, you need to understand what the concept of urbanization, which is the process by which people move from the rural areas and the countryside to cities. The two causes of urban urbanization, natural increase, where birth rate is higher than death rate, um, and rural urban migration. And migrants uh, usually uh, move for two reasons, push factors, which makes them want to leave where they come from, and pull factors, which makes them want to go somewhere. High income countries are the most urbanized, usually, with over 60% of people living there. Um, and we've got, but the ra most rapid urbanization is in newly emerging economy. That's led to the development of mega cities, which are cities with over 10 million people. Um, and at the minute, most of them are in Asia. Okay, so the example of the ones we need to learn about, um, we need to learn about one NEE city in NEE. We choose Nigeria because Nigeria is part is a is a big city in uh, African continent, and Africa is a uh, is the second biggest continent in the world. So uh, Lagos and Nigeria matter massively um, uh, in the next few years. So uh, Lagos is located in Africa. It's the biggest city in Nigeria. It's in uh, it's on the Gulf of Guinea in the west coast. It's got a population of over 10 million. Um, and grows at about 60,000 people per year. To give you an idea, this is how much the UK grew last year through migration. UK, we're talking here just about Lagos, okay? One city. So uh, why does it matter? It's because it used to be the former capital of the country. The capital was moved to Abuja to try and relieve the pressure of how many people live in um, in Lagos. It's a financial center of West Africa. It's got two ports, one airport. So it's got a huge, uh, huge, huge uh, importance for the local economy and local area. Um, the la how the land is used? Well, uh, one of the way in which land is used, 80% of the industries of the country is based in Lagos. Um, you've also got um, You've also got uh, some of the land that is used by Nollywood, which is the second biggest film industry in the world after Bollywood and ahead of Hollywood. Um, the causes of urban growth are due to the natural increase, the expansion of the city, uh, urbanization, and obviously the oil boom. That When the oil was discovered in Niger Delta in 1958, Niger Delta is really close to uh, Lagos. That led to a huge increase in people wanting to move to the city. Um, there are some challenges. With uh, growth comes challenges. Social challenges include the fact that there's uh, little, little access to pipe water. There's high levels of crime. Uh, there's um, issues with providing enough energy for all the people. 60% of people in Lagos live in uh, in squatter settlements like Makoko. You've got a picture of it here. It's a floating slum. Um, um, so housing in Makoko, 75% of people live in one-room houses. There's a big gap between the rich and the poor within the city of Lagos. Economically, um, the challenge is that 40% of the people in Lagos work in the informal sector that can't be taxed. 90% uh, of jobs... Um, uh, of, of new jobs, sorry, are uh, in the informal sector, and uh, lots of these jobs can be very hazardous. Okay, environmentally, you get some uh, traffic accidents, uh, fatalities are three times higher than Europe. You've got air pollution that is shocking due to the, quote, the amount of cars on the road. Water pollution, you've got a picture here of a river with plastic, it is abysmal and dreadful. And with sea level rising due to climate change, Lagos and the Lagoon and Makoko are at massive risk. Okay, however, there's a reason people move to these big cities and mega cities like Lagos is because you get huge advantages and opportunities socially you do get better water quality than you get in other parts of Nigeria, better access to transport, better access to healthcare compared to rural Nigeria. You get better quality jobs. Uh, Eco Atlantic is a financial hub, 15,000 jobs, tertiary quaternary jobs. They pay better. You get a better wage, better quality of life. You get a better transport, railroad uh, and port. You, um, although uh, uh, Olusun Dump is, uh, is, a, uh, is a landfill, it provides um, Job with with recycling, okay, uh, electronic waste. Um, it's got it, you're able, you're more likely to get grants and loans in big cities than you are in the countryside. It's got a growing population with big market, um, and then environmentally, the air pollution is being tackled. There is a state ma waste management authority that is trying to make a difference, and air pollution is trying to be reduced. They're actively trying to reduce it because it's the flagship city in the country, okay. Um, improving the quality of life for the urban poor. The best example is they're trying to build new new parts of Makoko into Lagos Lagoon. Um, they're trying to provide services to the to the uh, area. They provide to um, they provide trying to provide employment. They're trying to improve sanitations. Um, and ultimately, they are trying to create what they call new floating communities, floating schools in the um, in Lagos to create what they call the Venice of Africa. Uh, it's completely transform and gentrify and regenerate areas of uh, Makoko because they accept that they can't move people. People have settled there. It's about improving the quality of life. OK, so that's kind of your big case study of NE is Lagos in Nigeria.